Are you someone that fixates on the scales? You jump on the scales and if they haven't gone down, you want to blow your brains out basically because you're not happy with your progression. When in point of fact is the scales are not the only tool of measurement you should be using to measure progression. And today I'm going to discuss that at great length. Often uh, on a weekly basis, I'm having the same conversation with people about their results and particularly that number on the scales. Now, who out there knows how frustrating it is when you get on the scales, you might be checking it weekly, you might be checking it daily, I don't know. Depends on um, what your goals are and what your process is. But the number goes up and it does your head in. And I completely appreciate this, but what you've got to realize is that there's more to your progress than just that nasty number on the scale. That is just one small percentile of an overall scope that you need to look at in regards to progression in your uh, progression towards your goal and how you'll get in there. So, things such as scales, yes, they make a difference. They, they give us an indication of what our overall body weight is, but it doesn't necessarily tell us whether we're losing fat or weight. So that's a, comparat a comparison that you need to take into consideration. Measurements, measurements are incredibly important. They show things like whether your girth is coming in, your waist, your hips, your legs, your chest, uh, you know, what, depending on how many you do, show a result in regards to your body changing. So very, very important. Uh, simple things like dress size, pants size, maybe your belt buckle has come in a couple of notches, but the weight on the scales hasn't necessarily changed. That's okay, that's still showing progression. Very, very important. How you feel, how you feel. Are you energetic? Do you have more energy all of a sudden because you're carrying less weight? Um, or you've just got better energy because you're training more. Maybe you're eating better, so again, you've got more energy. Are you sleeping better? Were you a poor sleeper and now you're sleeping better because you're physically exhausted at the end of the day because you've trained harder, so you're gonna sleep better. You get into a deeper sleep, which means your body recovers, your mind recovers, and you have more energy for the following day. Very, very important. Uh, what about your mood? Were you a cranky person? Were you an agitated person? Were you very irritable at times because you were hungry because you thought you were eating, you were under eating, or you, maybe you had to under eat to lose weight. You weren't training, so you had all this this energy that you couldn't burn off or couldn't get rid of. Hence, why you didn't sleep as well. So maybe your moods and your mood swings were an issue, but now they have improved because you're training better, you're eating better, and so on. So another thing to take into consideration: Are you receiving positive comments from others? That's a massive one. We look at ourselves and overanalyze ourselves every single day. We look in the mirror 15 times a day and, and analyze every single minor detail of our physique, our posture, our personality, etc. But when you receive comments from others that you don't necessarily see all the time, and they give you great feedback, say, oh my God, you're looking so great. Oh, you, you've lost weight. You know, they make comments like that having not known what you're doing. That is a massive, massive gain. That is a massive plus and a big, uh, positive towards progression for yourself. Uh, what about your overall strength? Are you feel, are you feeling stronger? Are you picking your kids up without having to uh, you know be out of breath or struggle or, or hurt your lower back? Are you do, carrying things at work that you didn't know you could um, move around because your strength has improved? You know what about your endurance? Are you not getting as puffed out as you used to? Are you being able to walk up a mountain or climb a set of stairs or or chase after the kids without losing your breath? Again more improvement in your progression. So don't get fixed on the scales. I know this is a hard thing to do. Those little numbers can be quite nasty, but look at all those other points, and you know what? If you tick most of them, yes, you're improving. Yes, you're progression. Yes, you are getting better at where you need to be, and that is a massive, massive plus. So always look at the positives. Always look at the positives, and always consider them to outweigh the negatives. If the scales are becoming an issue, don't get on them as regularly. If your goal is overall health and um, well-being and lifestyle, and you just want to get better and be better and be stronger and be healthier, then don't get on them. Don't get on them. Get on them maybe once a month just to give you an idea of where your weight sits, but don't necessarily get on them all the time because your weight will fluctuate. If you check your weight every single day, I guarantee you two days will not be the same. So. Don't get caught up on the weight on the scales. Look for the positives in your goals. Look for the positives in your lifestyle. And look for the positives in your progression. I guarantee you, you will seek better results sooner because you're not focused on those nasty things.